Hi guys, having another go at this rubber, no it isn't a rubber band powered car, is it? Balloon powered car using the um, paddle here to drive the wheels. I've changed the uh, pipe. I tried restricting this one a bit, see if it make any difference. Didn't seem to make any significant difference. I printed another one, mainly because I was trying to get this bit where it pops out of the <laughs> pops out of here, but I still haven't got it quite right. So I think I'm going to abandon that idea and try something quite different. The idea is that you can pop it out to blow it up, but as you can see, I'm struggling to do that. It's not loose enough. So I'm still pushing it in place with the blue tack because that's easier. Anyway, this one I've printed a restrictor for it. It's actually about the same. So we'll give that a try. I've also printed a different paddle wheel. So we'll try it with that one first and then we'll see if that makes any difference. It's got twice as many paddles and also they're just plain flat ones instead of curved ones. One thing I did try, I won't bother videoing it now, I did try turning the paddle round and blowing it that way. I might have to demonstrate it because it had an interesting effect. It actually came backwards. Um, the wind blowing over that surface actually caused it to come towards me. Yeah, I will have to show that. If I remember, I'll show that at the end of this little session. Because it surprised me, but then when I thought about it, that's like blowing it over an airfoil and reducing the pressure there. So it actually pushes it the other way around. Which is why I thought I'd better do that, because at some positions, the air is blowing over that, that surface. Yeah, don't know. Anyway, we will try that, see if it makes any difference. Waffling again, aren't I? This balloon may burst, because it's the one I was using yesterday. So it'll probably wear out and pop. So it gave us power for longer, less power but longer. Are we going to get all the way there? We did, didn't we? Hmm. Does that mean I ought to put the, the old pipe on there? Just for a comparison. I mean, it didn't get that far yesterday, but we didn't have the restrictor in it yesterday. What we had yesterday was wheel spin, which is why we put the rubber tires on. So now we're giving it less power over long, a longer period. So we probably don't need the tires on there. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I'll just take them off. which means we don't need the spacers in there. Oh, that was the other thing yesterday. Um, because I put the tires on there, there was the possibility it might have been rubbing against the bodywork. So I put these straw, drinking straw spacers in there to make sure the wheels didn't rub against the bodywork. Anyway, we'll blow that up one more time, try another run. There's a slight hollow just here.
pretty imperceptible, but... Right, we'll try that again. There's a little bit of a rise just here where the kitchen floor meets the conservatory floor. So that's why it's slowed down just there and we haven't gone quite as far this time. We'll give it another go. That creek is the, the conservatory floor is concrete, the kitchen floor is wood. So there's a little bit of creaky floorboard just at the end there. You probably didn't hear it, but I hear it every time I walk over it. start that time that's going faster going right again that's going to hit the wall this time surely yeah well we do seem to be going a little bit further using the restrictor i'll just see if i can get it to go straight i'd much rather have a straight run and it hit the kitchen wall uh, kitchen door That's that one. Because that's the other thing, you really can't get a consistent demonstration when you've got to change blooms. Because the blooms lose their elasticity. So we can't make this a, a perfect scientific test. We're definitely getting a longer burst of power. Yeah, did the distance. I wonder if we can go back the other way. I've left some stuff in the way up there, which I'll have to run up and clear. I don't know if you can see it. If we get that far, I won't worry about it yet. Will it get over that little hump? Not quite. Something's leaking a little bit of air there, I can hear it. <laughs> oh 
right there. In case you're wondering, it, it doesn't slope all the way. It is just that little bit where they've matched the floors. If it sloped all the way, the car would still be moving. Something's not right there. Something slowed it down. It's not going half as fast now. Nope, not going to do it in that direction, just can't get over that little hump. Coming the other way, it doesn't have to go so far to get over the hump. And once it's over it, it's okay with the um, momentum. Right, now we'll try the other paddle. I don't know how I got sucked into doing this. <laughs> it wasn't at the top of my list. Oh, it was that Doyle Blevin suggested doing this, wasn't it? adjusting it so that the wheel doesn't touch the bodywork either side. Right. Try again. It may just be that this balloon's lost its elasticity. Okay, I expect the real test will be, will it go back the other way? When the other one failed. I can definitely hear air leaking. It's probably that restrictor. It's probably leaking around that.
<laughs> well, it got over the slope. You can see that will stop again there. There's a little bit of a dip there. There is a long story over them providing a concrete floor. I had to get them to dig it up again because they laid it wrong. We don't need to go into that now. But it isn't perfectly flat. We'll give that another go though because we did get over the hump. We just didn't get all the way. Expect the blue burst this time. No good was it? Actually caught the paddle on the end of there. Do it. Oh. One more try. I might flight said so use a bigger balloon. Well, yeah, it probably will work with a bigger balloon, but that won't be a comparison, will it? We're trying to compare things like the paddles and the restrictor. At least that's what I call it. did it once and that's it. There you go, it does stop. Just for anybody who thinks that I've got a slope in my kitchen. Just that little bit where the join is. So what have we learned? It did seem to go better with a restrictor in it. But we're still not sort of, well, we're doing about, depending on which direction we go, if we start this end, we're doing about eight meters. If we start the other end, we're getting stuck on that little bit of a bump there. So we're only doing about five meters. So if you've got a perfectly flat floor, it probably will do about eight meters. I have to redesign this a bit more. I don't know whether I mean I'm I'm aiming at the top here or just below the top, whether I should be aiming a bit lower down. I need to make this height adjustable, don't I? Hmm. 
Mm. We could spend months doing this, couldn't we? Playing around with different bits and pieces. I'll just give it a run without that in there again. Just let it blow itself forwards without the paddle wheel. So it'll be traveling in the opposite direction. So we're just going to blow it up and let it go under normal balloon power. Mm. Just slipped off the end. Oh, you devil. Stopped about a foot short. So does that mean it was more efficient with the paddle? Or again, is it just that the balloon is losing its elasticity? I'll give that one more go. About the same, isn't it? If anything, it's just possible that balloon's dragging on the floor a little bit, slowing it down. Got to say, pretty inconclusive. No dramatic distance difference either way. So. I have to have a th rethink. Well, just for the record, I've just restricted that hole a tiny bit more. Had a bit of plastic tubing that fits right inside there. So it's probably only reduced it by about another centimeter, if that centimeter, millimeter total diameter. And it struggled. It hardly went half as far. So, yeah, okay, there's other things that people might suggest, like shaping the, the nozzle, so we get some sort of um, tapered effect. The, the restrictor that I put in there is tapered, starts off at the full width and gently tapers down to that hole. So... Uh, yeah, not making much progress. Just remembered I said I'd demonstrate what happens when I put the paddle on backwards.
I actually pushed it that way rather than that way. And I'm sure that's the effect of the airfoil shape. Totally unexpected, but that's what happened. So I'll do it that way, I suppose. Across the screen so we can see it a bit better. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but I found that out when I was playing around with it. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here, see what else I do. Thank you for watching.